Hello friends, I am Dr. Vivek Modi and in this video I want to talk about the importance of breathing. Why all of us must understand some fundamentals about it and I call it the lowest hanging fruit to bring wellness and reap some tremendous benefit with minimal efforts. Now let's understand what all can be done by these breathing exercises. We can help ourselves in reducing our stress hormone. We can help ourselves improving the quality of our, our sleep. We can help ourselves dealing with all kind of chronic diseases by cutting down in the inflammation. We can also help ourselves in managing our blood pressure, our anxiety and many more things. Now let's understand what's the importance of breathing. First thing is breathing is the only thing which we can do voluntarily as well as involuntarily. If you notice in our body we have two kind of activities. One voluntary activities like movement of my hands, my eyelids and there are involuntary activities which are managed by a nervous system called autonomous nervous system. So all our heart rate, digestion, the activities of so many glands, hormones, all those things are happening involuntarily. Now these two activities voluntary and involuntary both are present in breathing. Breathing happens automatically, therefore it is involuntary and for some time we can do it voluntarily. We can pause it, we can change the rhythm, so on and so forth. So that makes breathing special. Breathing is the key by which by doing certain voluntary action we can peep into our involuntary world. Now let's understand the benefits of it. Number one, we need to understand some basics about autonomous nervous system. It has two parts parasympathetic and sympathetic. Sympathetic helps us in all kind of action related thing when we are active, fight, flight, when you are involved, when you are exercising, dancing, involved in something. That activity is primarily done by your sympathetic nervous system. So it helps you in the background. For example, it will relax your alveoli so that you can get more oxygen. It will increase your heart rate and your blood pressure so that you are getting more supply of blood in your muscles to act. So all that is done by your sympathetic nervous system whereas parasympathetic nervous system helps you in rest and digest. So primarily it overtakes sympathetic nervous system during sleep. Both are working 24 into 7 but during sleep parasympathetic nervous system overtakes sympathetic nervous system. Otherwise sympathetic nervous system when you are active is going to overtake parasympathetic nervous system. So now what happens in sleep? In sleep we not just rest and digest we also do a lot of healing. Your inflammation actually is dealt with during sleep. Now understand how breathing can help us in tapping into parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. By doing subtle modifications you can influence one of this system. What are these modifications? If you do balanced breathing 4 second 4 second in certain rhythmic way it brings back your homeostasis. If you are angry your anger will come down. If you are fearful, you will become little normal. All that thing, homeostasis in the body. If your heart rate is high, it will come low. If it's too low, it will come to normal. So that's what balanced breathing can help you. Then if you want to trigger your parasympathetic nervous system, which is actually more important, because in today's world, majority of the people are suffering with chronic issues, deprivation of sleep, indigestion, all those things. So in that, if you could activate your parasympathetic nervous system, it will help in all these activities. You know, all kind of chronic diseases, improving your sleep quality, dealing with your hypertension, dealing with your thyroid issue, diabetes issue, in everything it certainly helps. Scientifically, there is an explanation for it. Okay. So how do you trigger your parasympathetic nervous system? By prolonged breathing out, exhalation and short breathing in. So you can breathe in for 4 seconds, breathe in for 8 seconds and if you do this for a few minutes a day, it is going to trigger more of your parasympathetic nervous system. Night time before sleeping you can trigger your parasympathetic nervous system thereby improving the quality of your sleep. How do you do it? 4 second breathe in, 8 second breathe out. Okay, You have to do it in a systematic way, in a slow fashion and in a, in a very rhythmic way, smooth way. Okay? Similarly if you want to get active, if you are feeling dull, low, if you are feeling like to sleep and you want to get activated, then you can trigger your sympathetic nervous system. By doing carbon dioxide washout, you just do breathe out. What you call Kapal Bhati Pranayam. If you do that, then your sympathetic nervous system is triggering. And 
you lose your sleep and you get into active mode. So these few things I have told you, there is much more than this. I have tried to simplify it for making you understand and give you the gist about the magic of breathing. There are so many experiments and studies going on on breathing. There are so many people who have done some phenomenal work. This man called Wim Hof, he has done uh, so many things he has achieved and he attributes everything to his breathing techniques. So I hope now you understand the magic of breathing. Breathing is a key by which your voluntary system can peep into your involuntary system. So hold this key, understand it, use it. I hope you like this video and if you find it useful, do give it a thumbs up and don't be stingy in sharing. Please share it to at least 5 people. Thank you so much. I am Dr. Vivek Modi. See you again.